Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create a sign that the player can interact with. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open your How to Make a Game project. Click the new resource button on the toolbar. Select object for the type, then enter something descriptive for the name. Let's call it Welcome Sign. Objects are placed onto tiles, and are typically used for things that can be interacted with, like doors, signs, levers, and switches. They are also used for decorative purposes, like trees and furniture. We use a width and depth of 16 to match our tile size, and a height of 24. Click OK to create the object. Let's create a natural looking sign made out of rocks. First, draw a tall brown box. Move it forward to the center of the grid. Erase the edge voxels to give the log a more rounded appearance. With a lighter brown, paint the top where it's been cut. Let's make copies of the log instead of drawing the other two by hand. Switch to the Select tool, then drag to select everything, or press Ctrl A. Press Ctrl C, or click Copy on the Model Tools panel, to copy the selection to the clipboard. Now press Ctrl V, or click the Paste button, to paste the copied voxels back into the model. Move the copied log beside the first log. Repeat these steps to create a third log. Use the Erase tool to carve out some voxels from the front. Paint this area with the lighter brown, then add some lettering with a different color. Save the model when you're done editing. Before we add the sign to our map, let's remove the welcome message from the startup script since we'll be displaying it on the sign instead. Open the startup script, then click the X button to delete the display message node. Save the script, then open the forest village map in the map editor. Switch to the objects tab on the right, then select the sign. You can right-click to adjust the rotation of the pending object. Place the sign object onto one of the grass tiles by left-clicking on the tile. Since objects aren't passable by default, the map editor automatically removes any navigation lines around the sign to prevent characters from walking through it. However, we do want the player to be able to interact with the sign to read it. Switch to navigation mode, or press F3, then click the orange interact only box under navigation types. Click and drag from the tile in front of the sign towards the tile the sign is positioned on. This will create a connection line between those two tiles. Now the player will be allowed to interact with the sign while standing on the tile in front of it. You could also add interact only connections from the other three adjacent tiles if you wanted the player to be able to read the sign from those tiles as well, but for our particular sign it should only be readable from the front. Now let's add a script to our sign. Switch to edit mode, or press F2, then double click the sign to open the entity properties panel. Click the plus button on the section for scripts, or double click the header to expand it. Right now there is only one trigger event, Character Interacts, which is what we want. This means the script we assign will be triggered whenever the player clicks on the sign, or presses space while standing in front of it. Let's start with a quick script since we don't have a script yet. Quick scripts are great for simple one-off events. Click the pencil button to edit the script in the Quick Script Builder. As you can see, the script already displays a message by default, but let's select and delete the text to learn how to add our own functionality. Find display message in the function list on the left, then drag and drop it onto the boxite code area. 
Now we can simply edit any of the default values we want to change, in this case the message text. Select the text inside the double quotes, then change it to the welcome message we originally included in our startup script. Welcome to the forest village. Click validate to ensure that everything is OK with the script, then click OK to assign it to the sign. Now when the player interacts with the sign, the welcome message will be displayed. Whenever a script is assigned to an object or tile, it will be indicated by an icon above that entity in the map. You can optionally save a quick script as a standalone script file by clicking the disk button and giving it a unique name. Let's do that and call it Welcome Sign. If you click the pencil button now, it will open the script file in the script editor and you can edit it visually, if desired. Save the map since we're finished with the script. That's all there is to it, so let's test out our sign. Click the quick play button to start up the game. Walk me over to the sign, then click on it. You can also click on it from a distance to have me automatically walk over to it and interact. Wonderful! Our sign's welcome message is displayed. If you're using keyboard controls, you can walk over to the sign and press space while facing it. Congratulations! You now know how to create interactive objects for your game. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friend. You are a lovely and wonderful person. Until we meet again.